Hello Libra, welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot. Before we get into your weekly love outlook, just letting you all know that this is the tarot deck I'm giving away on my channel this month. Beautiful Creatures Tarot Deck and Guidebook Box Set. It's really, really beautiful, beautiful box set. Uh, the book is the same size as the box set, so it's a really nice set. And uh, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and let me know in a comment on any of my videos, just letting me know that you're interested in the drawing. Then, one of the most important, if not the most important thing you need to do is check back at the end of the month. Please check back for the winner video and see if your name is the name of the winner. I am still waiting for the March winner to get back to me. So uh, if she doesn't get back to me after a certain amount of time, I'll have to go on and pick another winner. So you don't want to do that. All right, guys, so check back. So Libra, let's get right into your spread. We're going to pull out your Romance Angel messages. Straight out, we have new love, retreat, and we have flirt. All right, so interesting. This energy is coming in for you. So now we're going to take a look at your love outlook. Now, this is a love outlook for the week, and it's generally for someone who's with somebody or has a connection with someone. So this is a love outlook into a particular connection that you have. And just to see where it may be at, right? It might be a new love indeed. It might be um, in a certain status, right? A certain uh, state, separation, or commitment, deep commitment. Whatever the case is, Libra, we're going to take a look at it. Then we'll pull some more cards for clarity. And then I'll pull my lovely Spirits of Darkness and Light Divination deck, Oracle deck, and see what spirits are affecting this situation. All right, let's cut your deck, Libra. So, your person, devil, and you, nine of pentacles, they have the world, you have to pay the fool. They have the chariot, and you have the eight of pentacles, and they have the page of wands, and you have the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck there's judgment so judgment is coming in interesting um let me just move this back slightly so i can have some room for my deck here judgment judgment is a feeling of reconciliation sometimes broadening your understanding because you're having certain experiences coming in for you now that you didn't have before so let's get right into it. These are your person's energies and your energies and the two sides, right? So your person is resonating right now with devil energy coming into this week, and you're resonating with nine of pentacles. They're really being led down a, di a different road, right? They're being led down a difficult road this week. Devil energy could be something tempting your person or pulling them down a path that is not conducive to their creative outlets, right? You are resonating with Nine of Pentacles, so you're feeling very ambitious this week, right? You're feeling very independent. Generally, Nine of Pentacles is someone who's very good at what they do. They're very independent. They're ambitious. It's someone who is, um, I want to say that you are kind of just holding on to your status this week in terms of everything that you've built up. You're kind of just holding on I want to say, and probably hunkering down into your in your garden, right, Libra. Um, you have everything you need around you right now. You know, you have everything you need. You're certainly this is a Libra who's really, you know, le reach a certain level of success, and you have a nice environment around you, right? You have a nice level of abundance and stability. Um, this person that we're reading the connection for this week, they're really getting pulled down a difficult road. I think they're being tempted in a lot of ways. All right, we're going to get out more cards and see what that's all about. Now, how are you guys resonating with each other in terms of how do you see each other? Your person is seeing you as part of their world right now, part of their destiny, and you're seeing them on the cusp of a new sort of um, adventure, I want to say, stage in their life. Right? This is how they see you. You see them as the fool. They see you as the world. So it's interesting. I want to say that your person, this is definitely a connection with someone who really, really sees you as part of their life, part of their world, part of their future. 
But it could be a new relationship because you're seeing them and associating them with full energy. So for you, you might be taking a leap of faith with this person, Libra. This may be a new love. And yes, it's quite... You know, it's quite nice. They see you certainly as part of their fate because you're already a very independent person here with Nine of Pentacles. So this is what makes me feel like this might be a very new connection for you. Um, you're looking at them and seeing the fool. So this is a also a very new sort of, I want to say, probably a different type of person than what you're normally used to um Inter, you know, dating or having a relationship with, right? So this is a very new experience for the both of you. Your person is very, very much about the future, though. They see you as being part of their their destiny. Um, they're planning the future, right? And they have a real idealistic view of what this relationship is going to be like. But there's a little worry there for me with the devil. And interesting, you're resonating with Eight of Pentacles. So although... Um, this is a very new thing for you, maybe even a new love. You are still very busy with your career. You've got work to do, Libra. So you're very, very busy here. And they're kind of like, I want to say they're kind of like already planning in a way their life with you. I think this might be moving a little bit fast for you even. I'm not sure. But it does feel a little bit like that because I'm not sure if they're ready to if they're ready for how independent you are with that nine of pentacles. All right. So this week, let's see, we're going to go a little bit deeper and see what's going on exactly this week uh, with the cosmic tarot deck. They're around, they're certainly feeling very idealistic by the end of the week with that wands energy uh, page of wands here. They're feeling very, very sort of idealistic about how they see their future. They have a definite idea a plan even maybe they certainly have an idea they're definitely I, I don't know it's like they're planning a lot right and you're kind of like to me the energy i'm feeling from you libra is that like you're you're like look this is who i am though i'm a very busy person i'm very ambitious i've got a lot of work to do and with this queen of swords it's like you're not going to necessarily be pulled into a role it could be that this person might be trying to you know because they're planning so much Right, they have such an idea that this is fated and destiny destined. You are meant to be with them. They're already planning with that cherry, and have this real idealistic, sort of passionate outlook for the future. Yet they resonate with the devil there in the beginning, which is strange. It could be a little bit of codependency there, or like uh, just odd, like energies, energies that are at odds with what, you know, that they feel very overbearing, almost smothering at times. Could be for some of you. Could be because it's just such a new relationship and a different type of person that you're used to. Uh, the one thing I will say, Libra, is that you're being very, very clear with that Queen of Swords that you are not the type to be, you know, uh, pigeonholed or, you know, put into a box or a role or forced to pretend to be something that you're not. That's not the, what the Queen of Swords is all about. And I think this is, this feels almost to me like this is something you're going to want to let your person know this week. Devil just came out over devil. Something's up with them, man. Honestly, I, I just feel like it's, you know, the devil, it's not that the devil is evil. You know, the devil is in all of us, the ability to go down that path. Um, but it is a path of sort of negative energy and low vibrational energy in the sense that it's the path of instant gratification. It's the path of manipulation. It's the path of codependency. So um, it also happens to be the tarot card for Capricorn. So, and we don't assume all Capricorns are, you know, are evil or the devil. So it's like... I want to be clear that the devil, you have empress, you have four pentacles, and you have two of cups. Yeah, I want to be clear that the devil is not inherently evil, but it is a side that we all have where we can very easily, uh, you know, go down the path of instant gratification, which leads us to a life of sort of being enslaved by our passions, right? Enslaved by our desires that are, you know, very easily satisfied, but then also very needy again. This is where addiction comes from. But you've got the devil coming out over the devil. You know, I mean, something's, you know, there's something up with this connection here and it's overwhelming. They have a 10 of cups here, but they do have a four of cups. So there's here we have 
this four of cups that just came out talking about not being not willing to accept help not willing to accept the cup of love there's something about this person's personality i want to say that might be a little bit dysfunctional it's interesting that they resonate with ten of cups but yet they also resonate with four of cups at the same time because ten of cups is like completion satisfaction happiness and love but then four of cups is like distance, separation, not willing to be, not willing to listen, not willing to accept any help, not willing to accept a, a cup of love from someone. Um, you are, however, resonating with Empress, four of pentacles and two of cups. So um, Empress energy, of course, is all about you really taking care of yourself in a lot of ways. You know, the, the, the divine Empress is all about nurturing and love and you know, maintaining that creative fertility, you know, and I don't mean physical, for, I'm talking about creative fertility so that you're always maintaining that ability to be creative and express yourself creatively. The Empress is, of course, associated with Venus and love and beauty and all of that, right? But one of the things we really like to see with the Empress is you taking care of yourself and nurturing yourself. So you're not going to get... This is a new love, but I want to say that this week might be... There might be a little bit of friction. Because this Libra here, you Libra, you are very sort of independent hardworking, you resonate with a strong, divine, feminine energy. I almost feel like this energy up here is quite masculine. Um, and that's not gender, that's energy, right? So it could be whatever gender in, or gender orientation, doesn't matter. Um, but this is a very strong feminine energy down here, right? Empress and Nine of Pentacles. And you are very independent. You already have your own life. You have your own work. Yes, you desire a connection with that Two of Cups, but you desire an equal connection, Right? Four of Pentacles, there is a worry over money for you this week. And so, like, you don't really... I feel like although... Although you do want this this lovely, nice, balanced Two of Cups connection where you guys are coming together with real balanced and equal desire, at the same time, you're really busy with work this week. Libra, you got stuff to do. You've got work to do. And it just feels very much like... You are going into this very much with the attitude of, okay, I'm an independent Libra. I've got my work. I have my life. Yes, this is new for me. I'm willing to take a leap of faith. They're really sort of like, I want to say they're quite, to me, it feels like they're a little bit domineering. They're a little bit very quick to be like, well, we need to be together. You are my destiny. And if you know what I mean, it's like whenever somebody is very quickly makes you their one and all sort of twin flame soulmate. Let's, you know, everything we now do together. You know, it's just the energy that I feel here is very sort of um, overwhelming, right? And just not something that is necessarily, you know, like, I don't feel that it's necessarily bothering you so much, but I feel like the person you are, Libra, is going to surprise this individual, like, I'm not, you know, because Queen of Swords is here strong, letting you know that I'm always going to be my authentic self. So as long as this whole plan you have for us includes my authentic self, cool, I'm with it. But if this plan you have for us requires me to change or suddenly become somebody else or act a different way or live a different way or what have you, or something that is at odds with my own ambitions down here, I think there's going to be friction. We have the spirit of communication, the spirit of the child, and the spirit of the moon. Wow. So there you go. There's going to be communication on the wind, right? I mean, we have new love and flirt. And this person you're dealing with, the other thing about the devil is that he's very suave. So you could also be dealing with somebody who's just very, very alluring and sexy and suave. But yet at the same time... um. You know what I mean? It covers up something that's a little bit more dangerous, I want to say, or 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 um, perhaps, um, I want to say, hazardous, right? But yeah, he was a spirit of communication and sense of, you know, letters, texting, phone calls, emails. Your person is definitely someone who's reaching out, wanting to talk to you, wanting to sort of whisper those sweet nothings in your ear. And I think that that's part of their allure to a certain degree. But again, there is a codependent feeling here or kind of weird sort of dysfunctional insistence here that I feel. So just be careful. Right. You have spirit of the child as well. So the spirit of the child is an innocence. 
and immaturity. And this is again something that I feel with this person. Like, yes, they're one of, they're like, oh, I love you. We're gonna be together. We need to be together forever and all of that. But yet at the same time, you're the one over here with the success, with the working, with the getting down, knuckling down. I feel like there is there is a feeling a little bit of immaturity here, especially it's funny that she will come out over the four of cups because that four of cups can sometimes be like that real kind of like, I don't need your help. I don't need to talk to you. Leave me alone. Wah. You know what I mean? Four of cups can really be that sometimes. Can also sometimes be that energy that when you're with somebody, it's like when you try to talk to them, every time you try to talk to them, you're wrong and they're right, or they're very defensive, they're very abrasive, uh, they're very domineering. And so it's very difficult to even communicate with them. You know what I mean? They're always confrontational. Even if you're in a relationship with them, it's like you end up, you know, that's it's an immature way for them to act, but it also ends up making you feel very kind of childlike in a way also because it's like you're afraid to sort of move or say anything because it's there's just so defensive now four of cups can be a little bit like that that immature nature you know what i mean and you have the spirit of the moon so things here are not as they seem right spring you know here in the in my beautiful spirits of darkness and light divination deck um mystic moon you know she says cycles visions and dreams when we talk about the spirit of the moon and this is true there is associated with that but i think also you have to remember that dreams and visions are not clear not everything is clear with that it's it's dreams and visions are up are their dreams or visions their messages sometimes but they're absolutely up to interpretation and so they're very much down to the person, you know, they're so intric intricately uh, tied to the person who's having the vision or the dream and their mental and emo emotional outlook. In and of themselves, they have no value or meaning. And so um, it's the interpretation. And again, I feel like there's a shrouding here, you know, there's a... This individual is feeding a particular story, a particular idea or vision. I don't know if it is exactly the way this person is feeding it to be. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. So just be very careful. This is a new love. And when I say be careful, I say this because it's like, especially these spirits are letting you know, communicate, you know, and in their communication with you, when they communicate with you, you can tell in their communication where their head is really at. Again, this is a very new love and a lot of this stuff is going to be coming out this week. Certainly this week though, I'm going to say Libra, this is a Libra who is about, you know, making sure their coin, their stability and everything is on point. You're going to be working a lot this week. It could be the fact that you're working so much and that you have um, anxiety over financial stability. You to make sure that you're staying strong, right? It could be though that um, this increased work that you're doing may even get this new person that you're with to sort of show a side of themselves that you haven't necessarily seen before. And that may be where you begin to see a little bit of this duality because there's a lot of duality in them, contentment and love, yet there's dissatisfaction, right? Um, freedom from fear and jealousy and having an idealistic vision. And then we have the internal struggle of the devil here. So there's a weird duality that's going on with this individual, which I think they might, as we say, show their ass this week, because they might not like the fact that you're working so much, right? This may come up. It may be something like that, or maybe something about the way you're working, whatever the case may be, you present here as strongly independent Libra very strongly independent. And I think that that is definitely going to bring out whatever is at the heart of this person's duality this week. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. This is your reading for this week, April 5th to the 12th for Libra in the area of love and a particular connection that you have with somebody out there. It's interesting, you know, I'm going to have to change how I call these readings because I look at a connection you have with somebody, but it almost sometimes... It's sometimes it's a connection with somebody you're really not even together or you're you just gotten together. So it's interesting. It really just depends on you. So take the readings for what they mean to you. You may only resonate with a very small portion of it and the rest of it may not be relatable, right? So just take what applies to your situation and then go from there with whatever clarity or insight comes to that 
to that part of the reading that may may give you some uh, deeper understanding. But in any case, Libra, I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to let me know if you're interested in the drawing. Like I said, all you have to do is leave me a comment letting me know that you're interested. And um, please subscribe and check back to see if you're the winner. All right, guys. All right, guys. I love you so much. And I'll be back later on uh, with the next elements, which are the water signs. So I'll be doing the water love outlook for the weekly coming up later on. All right, guys. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you next week for your weekly love outlook. Bye bye, Libra.